Hi, I'm Matt McGovern, and this is Inside the Pocket with Coach Gov. This week on Inside the Pocket, we're going to take a look at just a couple plays uh, from the Oregon-Washington State game this past weekend um, in regards to reacting to what a defense does. And, you know, we get into this part of the season, and uh, we've got our X's and O's down a little bit. Offenses are starting to click. Defenses are starting to add some different wrinkles. And uh, ultimately, quarterback play, <clears throat> successful quarterback play, comes down to the ability to, uh, to, to recognize what you're looking at in terms of coverage, different schemes, um, execution of your own plays, but most importantly, the ability to react. And what I mean by react is that we don't want to have something happen that a defense does and it shock us or uh, we're not ready for something and we get surprised because once we get surprised it, it eliminates our ability to be smooth and flow with uh, with our mechanics functioning at a high level so to have the ability to be what I call reactionary is absolutely imperative and the only way to be reactionary is to have a very very good handle on your mechanics um, so that you can tap into uh, those abilities whenever necessary in any situation regardless of the environment you find yourself in on a particular down or a particular throw. So this is a throw from Oregon's Braxton Burmeister and this is what we uh, you hear this this term RPO thrown around quite a bit these days which stands for run pass option and what you're seeing here out of Oregon is a, a version basically of the triple option but instead of pitching the ball we're throwing it so I'm gonna play it and, and let it run through here okay so the, the play really doesn't go for much but we're focused on the quarterback itself and his his play his movements the first thing we're looking at here to, to break the play down a little bit is we have our uh, our read key which that's how he's making the determination of whether or not he's going to give the football to the back or he's going to keep it himself and then the second read that he's focused on is what would have been called a pitch read is this inside backer okay so at the snap of the ball we have his read um, is going to drive down inside following the back so now as he attacks the edge okay as the quarterback attacks the edge he is headed in this direction looking to get downhill and his eyes want to find his pitch key which is that backer coming inside out so as he develops he comes off of his ride now he flashes his eyes he sees a body who has presented himself as his um, as his pitch read Okay, and at that time, now he's looking to deliver the football out to his receiver. So he has to make the throw on the run, and he has to be very what we call reactionary. Now, in order to make that throw, he must square his front side shoulder in what I like to call the load, and then he's immediately looking to rev as he separates his hands. So load, rev, raise, squeeze on the run, zips the ball out rather quickly. And essentially what they're doing is they're taking a look out here, and you've got... Um, You've got some man coverage matchups. You have off man down the bottom here with this corner. Okay. You have press man on the point, and then you have off man from the safety up top. You've got man to man, and the safety up top here is free. Okay. So Oregon essentially says, look, we're going to take our matchup of our receiver here to this safety here at being 10 yards off, and we're going to let these two guys block the one on one and let our receiver play in space. And that's exactly what they do quarterback comes off his ride there's one read two reads and now let your mechanics flow he throws a very accurate quick you know seven yard ball ten yard ball uh, but it's on the move and it's quick and it's all based off of what defense is doing and you know what seems like a routine play and again doesn't really even go for much yardage is uh, very very challenging to do and you need to teach all these components of the game the quarterback's breaking down all these decisions uh, reading two people and then delivering a throw to a target. So there's a lot going on on that throw. He delivers a very accurate throw. He looks smooth doing it and he is absolutely reactionary as I would say. This is good stuff. Okay, so here's Washington State. This is Luke Falk. And again, a very it end, this ends up being a touchdown, but it's a very routine throw and catch. Let's take a look. He ends up going for a touchdown that's the running back okay so what we have here is a check down okay and this is what you love to see out of your quarterback so he lines up he sees across the board he's got man coverage okay you look at your corners 
you can see we're in man technique. We're below the hard deck. Eyes are on their men. Uh, continuing further, we have man up top on the slot. And if you take a look, uh, likely this safety is picking up man. They're going to probably bring some pressure uh, with this guy, this this backer. I, I forget exactly how they work it, but you can see his posture um, alludes to the fact that he's probably in man. Uh, down bottom, you've got these backers. Looks like one and two expanding. So one or two of them have uh, this back in the backfield. Okay, and then you, you end up having a safety free. So as things unfold, there's pressure up top. So that safety up top does pick up the man. Uh, Falk is looking down down bottom quickly. As soon as he catches the ball, his eyes are looking to. Uh, he quickly checks down bottom here at this this uh, wide receiver. He does not get leverage yet. Uh, so he immediately moves on to his next target. So he bumps to the middle of the field where he's got underneath coverage as well as over the top coverage. He doesn't waste any more time there. And then lastly checks up top there where he still does not have leverage. All those decisions are made rather quickly if you watch the way his progression goes. So he's looking one, two, three, check down. All right, so his drop, he goes one step, two, three, hitch, one, two, three, check down. Very quick easy decision to make. He takes the very easy throw uh, as the backers vacate to body those receivers. He just dumps the ball off. And again, what seems like a, a, a nothing throw is, is what I call reactionary. Right? He's using his ability to understand the defense. He's using his ability to understand the, his own play and what his, um, his receivers are doing. And then lastly, he uses mechanics to make a nice easy throw. Now, you don't need to have great mechanics to complete this pass, but you don't want to be shocked or surprised by not being able to get the ball to your primary target. So he's checking down to what, what this amounts to be a fourth look, which is pretty impressive. And it all happens very quickly. He's doing this basically in under two seconds. One, two, three, one, two, balls off. And that's his fourth look. So that's what you want to see out of your quarterback, who I believe is a fifth-year senior, and that's pretty big stuff. Uh, but what you're going to start to see is the ability to make plays, be a playmaker. And the only way that you can do that is to not be surprised or shocked by anything that unfolds in front of you. The preparation that we have with our mechanics, with our scheme, with our understanding of the game, allows us to just flow and to play and to react. And once you get to that level, you can tap into those mechanics no matter what's going on around you and have success as far as throwing the football and making plays. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Inside the Pocket with Coach Gov.